Okay, so for our side, overall, uh, we are arguing, we have argued that um, Prop 209 is a, uh, should be implemented nationwide, as Prop 209 has shown in California that it was successful, and that there are other methods, such as the one that the CSU programs have taken to help disadvantaged minorities. Also, Prop 209 has increased graduation rates of minorities, while the admission, although the admission rates have um, lowered at UC Berkeley. And in response to uh, the negative, uh, while it is true that the majority of minorities, like it's the ma majority of disadvantaged people are minorities, it would be more accurate to just help these individuals based on whether they're disadvantaged or not, and not just their race, so that people who are white or not a minority who are disadvantaged can still get their help, while minorities who don't need the help uh, don't need to get it if they're not disadvantaged. Um, the negative said that, I brought up the UC scandal in which um, the rich people were able to get into uh, colleges uh, but that is has nothing to do with Prop 209 as it was illegal and it doesn't have to do with any other government policy either. It was also brought up how verbiage changes, how people view fairness. Um, however, and also that in an, uh, that Prop 209 had a low turnout so that the, view, the overall American public is not against affirmative action, or is that what they're saying? But according to a, a article by Peter Schmidt, um, oh, I mean, there was a poll that finds that most Americans oppose affirmative action when defined as preferences. A poll of American voters has found that 55% favor favor the vote abolition of affirmative action programs that give preference to blacks and other minorities in hiring promotions and college admissions. So the overall American public does oppose affirmative action. And Prop 209 should be um, taken to a national level and affirmative action should be abolished.